Hello everyone. My name is Nikhilesh. I welcome you to my channel RP Techno Hub. In today's session, we're going to learn about add data column activity in UI path. Let's get started. First of all, what is add data column activity? So when you've got certain dynamic column data to be added to a data table, then you'll use this activity. So you might be still wondering when would you use this activity in real time, right? So when your client wants certain tablet data to be scraped out and before sending the report, right? He wants certain extra columns to be added to the report then you can use this activity uh, to add certain extra columns to the data table and then you can add that to your excel sheet and then you can send that report out right so let's see a simple uh, use case to get hands on over this activity so here i got a sample excel sheet so if i just open it right so it has got certain records so if you see here uh, it has got name column age column and city for each and every customer so if your client wants zip code and status columns to be added then uh, you will add zip code and then uh, he wants uh, the zip code of each and every customer city then you will add manually right so the same thing can be done uh, using your path let us see uh, with the uh, how we can uh, get this done with the add data column activity so first of all what we need to do we need to read this excel sheet so here I'm reading that Excel sheet into my UEPA data table, that is CR data table, right? So what do we need to do first? We need to add extra column, right? We need to add a column, data column to the data table. So here I got this uh, uh, activity under data table. So just drag and drop that. And uh, so on the right-hand side, on the properties panel, if you see, right? So you are required to give certain input arguments. So what is the column name that you want to specify first? That is zip code zip code and then what is the data table that you want add this column to so that is cr data table yeah let's specify that and if you see here uh, you need to specify the type of argument so let's say zip code is an integer right in 32 you specify that so this will accept only integer values now the column values right and uh, if you see here we got options as well so while we add, you know, while we build data tables, so we manually add columns. So if you remember, when we add a new column, right, it will ask us uh, if if we want to add any null values to that, or if you want any auto increment to be happened uh, as and when a row is added or uh, for the existing rows, or you know, if you want to add a default value, that means do you want all the columns to have a certain default value as and when a row is added? Uh, that can be specified and if you want to specify any particular maximum length for a you know value for this particular column that can also be specified and if you want all you know uh, all the values all the row values to be unique that can also be specified but i'm just leaving them as they are for now okay and now uh, we have added zip code and let me just add another column that is status let's specify the column name as status and uh, to what data table do you want this column to be added? That is CR data table, specify that. And uh, what type of argument uh, it can accept string. Okay, he wants uh, this column, right? The client wants this column. So I'm adding it. I'm just leaving these options as they are. And now what do we need to do? We need to add zip codes against each city. So if you see here, uh, let me just quickly open this. Yeah, if you see here, it has got cities each record has got city column so we need to iterate through that particular data table for each row use for each row activity and uh, specify the data table that you want to iterate through i want to iterate through cr data table right so and now i need to check what the city name is and accordingly i need to set the value for zip code right uh, so we added that zip code column and now the cr table cr data table has got zip code column as well as status column now what do i need to do to be able to check that particular value uh, so i'll just make use of switch activity just look for switch activity and just drag and drop that and here i will specify which column it is so it is 0 1 2 that means second index and third column right so row of row of two dot two string so two dot two string and then in switch case right uh, we need to specify the type of argument that is string so we are checking for row of two dot string which is a which is holding string values so uh, if it is hyderabad 
if it is Hyderabad, I would like to set one zip code. So just specify Hyderabad, Hyderabad. And uh, if it is Hyderabad, I want to set the zip code as, just look for assign activity quickly, assign. Yeah, it's there in favorites. Let me just track and drop that. And if it is, if it is uh, Hyderabad, I will set row of three dot uh, row of three, right? In row of three, what I will add, that is five double zero double zero one, okay, as zip code. So we're good there. So since it is an integer row of three, it is accepting integer values, we're good there. And the same thing has to be done for the rest of cities. So let me just copy this quickly and go in here and add it. Yeah, and this is assign zip code, right? Assign zip code. Let me name it as assign zip code quickly. Assign zip code, copy this and then paste that over here. So for this, what I'll do, I'll set another thing. That is 530068. We get this. We have set a zip code for Bangalore as well. And then the same thing to be done for the rest of cities. So copy it New Delhi. And New Delhi, if it is New Delhi, I will copy this again and then paste it. If it is New Delhi, the zip code to be set as double one, double zero, triple zero, one. Cool. And then if it is uh, Chennai, just copy it and then paste that here. I'll copy this, and paste it here. Let's go there, copy it. So if it is Chennai, I'll set the zip, uh, zip code as Six. Okay, some random value. Okay, six triple zero four zeros and one. Good. And if it is Kolkata, copy it quickly. Yeah, if it is Kolkata, then copy this. Yeah, paste this here. If it is Kolkata, I'll keep it as seven. Seven triple zero one. We're good there. So we have set it. And how can we validate it, right? So let me just write it to a new workbook or new worksheet inside the same workbook. So here I got the file path. So I'll uh, add a new sheet to this workbook. So CR is there. Let me just create CR, you know, to our customer report workbook. So for that, what I'll do, I'll just look for right range, right range uh, from the file workbook. I'll take this. So I will specify the file path. That is the workbook path. And then I'll create a sheet called customer, customers report, customers report, starting from A1. I want to write what? CR data table, CR data table. And I want to add headers, okay? Yeah, so here we do not have any sheet called customers report. So that sheet will be added now, right? So post, running this particular bot. Yeah, let me just give a quick run. So what will happen, I am, I am again taking you through this. I'm reading this sheet and I'm adding two columns that is zip code and status, right? And then I'm iterating through each and every row to be able to set a zip code against the city, the city. And then uh, once we set the zip codes, we are writing that into a new sheet called customers report. Let me just quickly run. So I hope I closed that Excel sheet. Yes, I did. And execution started, execution ended. And if I go in here and if I open this particular workbook, there you go, I got customer's report sheet and there you go. So Ramesh, Hyderabad for Hyderabad, what is the zip code that's been set? 53001 and then 5 three zero one and the status column is also added for the client's lateral purpose. So I hope uh, the session is informative. If you like it, please do subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends. Thank you.